people are our uh, people. Good. And uh, they've been in awful in touch with the FBI. So the wires are good. Yeah. They, uh, uh, we but got about 20% uh, of them were from the south and were friendly. We got some uh, unfriendly ones. Yeah. It runs about 70-50. I don't tell that figure to anybody, but I don't give it out, but just for you. And uh, we we like the ones from the south. I'm going to call, uh, I thought I might call the governor of Mississippi just to carry through today what we'd already started, not let him think we'd forgotten him, and then call. Now, he's sending his representative up here, and he's going to be here at 3 o'clock this afternoon. Uh, That's the first point. The second point is he call, did call for noncompliance in the state. He did? Yeah. What did he say, he resisted? Said that it should be tested and that we shouldn't, uh, that we didn't have compliance at all. Mm. Well, so, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's bad. Yeah. And the only thing is that we just, just stress that uh, I suppose it, even view of that that, uh, that uh, the we want law and order and that uh, when it is tested in the court uh, and it is uh, declared uh, we'll all abide by the decision if, if he would make sure that he uh, gives some support to it then. And in the meantime that uh, we don't have uh, disorder or violence of any kind in the state. That at least. I think it's too far to go back on the other, but at least to uh, ask him to do that for the future. Any others call for non compliance? No, I think that's the only one. I don't think uh, the governor of Alabama has said anything, but I'm sure he'll say something similar to that. But it's been uh, relatively common for the first time in Jackson, Mississippi, they've got them, some of the Negroes and whites sitting down and talking over some of the problems. Things. I don't think we could expect anything much different from the governor. I'm mean, sure they went to him and asked him, and he said, you got to comply with the law, I'm sure. It's been very difficult for him. But if he now keeps stressing law and order, number one, and number two, the fact that when a court decision does come down, that they have to abide, abide by the law and prepare people for that, that would be helpful. Okay, any other news? What are you gonna What are you gonna do over the weekend? You gonna, gonna go to the Cape, I think. This afternoon. See your daddy. Went to see Teddy. Yes, he did. Where is uh, Joan? I got a call from her last night, but I didn't get through to her before I left. She'll be up at the Cape. All right, I think I'll call her this afternoon. If you If you have a chance, you might also call uh, my father. I will. Every time I call up there. Well, uh, do they, do, can you get both of them at the same time? Uh, no. Uh, have to be there. Different houses, but they can get them quite easily. They have both those. Does he does he realize I'm calling and does it does it upset does it upset him or is it no, good for him? No, he gets upset, but he uh, feels pleases him, and then you know it's awfully good for my mother too. Yeah, wonderful. And have that, you know, in fact, it makes a big difference. And you know, the last time he called, it helped a lot. Good, well, I'll be happy to. The fact that it's important, I think that if you talk uh, a little bit about uh, what's going on, you know, about uh, the problem with civil rights, you get that. But he still has problems. Did you get in time to talk to uh, yeah, Taylor? He might have also the economy. But, uh, I did a little bit, and I'm going to. He's going to come up tomorrow for the day. Okay. Oh, the wife's going out from September, so that's nice. She's going out until September. But she's going out then. You know, oh. first she wasn't going to go at all, mm -hmm. so he was very concerned about that. But she's going. Happy Fourth of July. Same to you, Bobby. Thank you. Bye. Say hello to Mr. Johnson.